G'day, I'm Guy Allen. Welcome to Unique Cars Magazine. This lovely low-slung American sports car I'm playing with, it is of course a Chevrolet Corvette. These things have been built since 1953. This is the third generation. The Stingray shape, probably the most numerous of all the old Corvettes to have been built. And this particular example is a 1970 model. Okay, so if you're out looking at Corvettes, here's a little tip for you. You might not need the fridge magnet you usually use to check an old car out with. Fiberglass. It's a fiberglass body on a steel chassis. A very unusual construction these days, but a little more common back in through 50s, 60s and 70s. There are quite a few cars that used a similar idea. This car has got the target top roof, so these two panels come away in halves, and you've got a T-top through the centre. American cars, they're noted for their reliability and general mechanical simplicity and this is absolutely no exception. We've got the big 350 cubic inch engine up front, that's a 5.7 litre for those in need uh, metric. The basic engine was a 300 horsepower, this one's a little bit up spec. You could also get a 454 cubic inch engine, which is massive, over 7 litres, and you could get anything up to around 400 horsepower in these cars. Now you also standard got a 4-speed manual gearbox with these, but this car has got the 3-speed auto. Typically you'd have a TH400 or something like that behind that power plant. The end result is maybe not the most sophisticated car in the world, but plenty of grunt, it's highly entertaining in a straight line, it actually steers okay for a 1970s car. It's surprising, it's reasonably competent, probably a little bit better than your average American car of that era. You can tip it into a turn and it will do pretty much what it's told. Uh, braking's halfway decent and inside it's comfortable, but I should warn you, you might get the idea with me standing beside it, this is not the biggest car on the planet. It's long, it's a full length car in Australian terms, but that cabin, it's two people, your iPhone, a cut lunch, and if you really need to, you could take an overnight bag behind the front seats, but that's it for carrying capacity. There's lots and lots of them about. This particular C3 is a sort of first half of the third generation, if you like, so it's the last of the chrome bumper cars. And it's only got these minimalist chrome bumpers on it. People value the chrome bumper cars, so these are probably the ones to look for, but you do pay a premium. A good car like this, one in decent condition, will set you back about $40,000 or so. And it's typical for cars of this era that your big toss up with these when it comes to value is, do I buy a cheap one and do it up, which is certainly an option, it means you get exactly what you want and you know what's in the car, or do I buy one that's already done, which almost inevitably is going to be cheaper. So what do they like to drive? Hey, it's a big American sports car. It's a big buffy V8 in the front, makes all the right noises, have a listen to this. You know it's there, um, unfortunately so do the neighbours, so there's no sneaking out early in the morning. That said, it's a fantastic Sunday driver, it's comfortable, there's a tonne of power, 350 horses out of this engine is really plenty for a classic car. Suspension works, you can feel where you're pointing it, and the brakes are actually quite good. If you're in the market, what you should do is go to our website, tradeuniquecars.com.au. We've got a number of Corvette features there, plus, coincidentally, quite a few for sale. So you might find what you want on that site. The other thing is, watch out for Unique Cars magazine. We're forever updating features and history and values, so keep an eye out for that as well.